Hi guys, welcome to Team Tech Dom. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove missing values from your data sets using Python Pandas. So the problem is when you're analyzing real world data, most of the time, let's say 90% of the time, the data you're going to be working with is going to contain some missing values. And it's important that you know how to undo those missing values. One of the methods of handling missing values, which is actually the easiest, is just to get rid of them. So whether you want to analyze data or you want to build machine learning models, the first step is to handle missing values. Removing missing values is actually okay if you're using a really large data set and the number of missing values aren't much, then it's okay to remove them. But there are other ways of handling missing values and we will look at that in other videos. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove missing values using Pandas. So the first step is to load the data set. So I've imported pandas here, and this is the code to read the data set. And we're just going to preview the data set. So let me run this cell by pressing Shift Enter, or you just click on Run. Okay, this is the data set. It's a Chicago crime data. So Pandas has actually collapsed most of the cells, so we won't notice any missing value just by observing it manually. But if you want to check, you could open this with Excel to manually go through it and find, find missing values. Right, so let's check if there are missing values in this data set. So the code to do that is df.na. So it's na meaning it's not available or it's null. That's what you can just use to remember is NA. It's not available, meaning it's missing. So I'm going to run this. All right, so um, what this means is false, meaning this value at this position is false, meaning it's not missing because it's actually there. And since we've not like seen any missing value here, we won't like find any true at this part because most of the columns have been collapsed, so those parts should have the true value. What we can do is just find out the total sum of missing values in each of the columns. So, to do that, we add another method known as dot sum. This is going to give us the total number of missing values in each column. All right, so you can see uh, we have 43 missing values in what column community area column 43 and the rest of this four missing values All right and so what we're going to do is remove the rows with these missing values but let's get the total sum of missing values what we're seeing now is just the total sum of missing values in each of the columns but to get this total sum like okay how many missing values are there in total you can okay, there are two ways you can do this can try df.na.sum, which is what we did in the previous cell. Then you can also add .sum again, which will, which will get the sum of the sum. <laughs> sum of the sum. Okay, I um, forgot to use the bracket here. All right, so the total number of missing values, we have 106 missing values. Right. Uh, the second way to do this is just by using the sum function. So you come over here, sum, and then close everything in the sum function, and you still get the same result on the six. So you can use any one like prefer. Now, so let's remove all the missing values. To remove all the missing values, there is a method known as drop na. So this is df dot drop. And it's a drop not available. Just remember the method. And there's a parameter we're going to specify, which is in place. So we're going to set this to true. What this means is normally if I do df.drop any without specifying this parameter, it's just going to return a copy of the data set where the missing values has been removed. But the original data set still has the missing values in them. So this Without the in place, it's just returning a copy of what I need. 
But what I want is to actually modify the original data set that's the uh, missing values. So that's what this does in place equals true. So in place is going to modify the original data set instead of returning a copy. That's what I want. So I'm going to run the cell. Okay, uh, so to confirm if we've removed or we've gotten rid of the missing values, just going to do a little sanity check. I'm going to copy this code to check the total number of missing values. Now we have zero, meaning all the missing values have been removed. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and don't forget to like this video. You can check the channel for other videos.